All right, we're inside of Cura. Now we need to load a model. And then I, this was in downloads. If it was zipped, you have to unzip it and it won't show up if it's not unzipped. So mine's unzipped. Go back to the last tutorial if yours is not. Open this up. Got it right here. And then I, it's super small. This is a six by six bed. And then I would need to scale it. So I'm gonna click on that thing. Oh, it's too small. Click on it, scale it. And I happen to know that I want this 76.2 millimeters tall because that's three inches if I were to convert the units. And so now Baymax is the right height. So on the left here, mine's already set. So it, the default is on beginner, but you should move to intermediate. And then we, the first material is the one that we use. It's called ABS is the material. The manufacturer is ID, IC3D. Over here on the left as well, we're going to click on height detail. I think yours is going to be on standard when you start. And then we're going to do both uh, of these print support structure and print a brim. Uh, to take a look at what that's going to do, we're going to click on view mode and layers. And we can see uh, how this thing's going to look as it prints. 422 layers. Uh, if I go down to the bottom, you can see the brim is what we checked down there and that's this brim down here it helps support it and then a support structure we'll start to see that get prim printed as well i should not have checked that and now i can't click this can i move up here there we go uh so the blue part is the support structure that's getting printed underneath and that's going to help the pieces that are kind of sticking out as it prints we can check the inside of this We've got a honeycomb shape that reduces density on it and also still helps support the structure. We can change the wall thickness. This would be in the expert uh, settings. And uh, we can modify the in, how dense it is on the inside as far as the structure as well. And so 422 layers later and two hours and 49 minutes. And that is the amount of material, 34 grams, that it's going to take. When we are all done, you should have a memory card in there and you'll be allowed to save to the G code. Right now, I don't have one in. I'll just go ahead and throw one in so that you can see what that looks like. Put my memory card in currently. So now you can see the SD popped up on there. And when I click, it's going to give me an option to put it right straight to that. Uh, one thing about it is when you do this, I'm going to go ahead and push OK. Um, it, it saves it automatically. Mine, look, it called it Big Hero 6 down here because a lot of times I'll go over to the 3D printer and people, I say, what is the name of your file? And they don't know. So if you didn't name it inside of Clara.io and you downloaded it, it's probably called Untitled. And then the last three people who did it were called Untitled. And then we have three that are called Untitled. And then we don't know which one is yours. So make sure and give it a good name. If you need to, we can rename it at this point too, but ask me how to do that. Whew, have a good day.